A genuine spiritual leader is someone that has grown into a spiritual parent. This is the process. We all start out at a place of unbelief and rebellion against God. As the Apostle Paul has it, we were dead in our transgressions and sins. But then something supernatural happened. In the language of Jesus Christ, you must be born again or born from above. This is how we became spiritual babies or infants. What are babies like? Babies are ignorant, confused, and completely dependent little creatures, aren't they? Spiritual infants are nothing less. <laughs> they desire, says the Apostle Peter, the pure milk of the word that they may grow thereby. Grow into what? Well, grow into spiritual kids. All right, so are they now independent? Not really. Spiritual kids, just like biological kids, are often self-centered idealists. They oscillate between overconfidence and underconfidence. Someone must deal with them as a father deals with his own children until they reach the next level, a very tricky stage. A stage that covers a wide span from spiritual youth to spiritual young adults. This stage is characterized by great decisions, purpose, generous involvement in ministry. The Apostle John speaks beautifully about uh, this stage. He says, I write to you, young man, because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil. With all this, as I said, this stage can be tricky. Do you know why? Because spiritual youngsters may very much look like spiritual adults. And yet, they are one essential step short of spiritual adulthood. What is that? Having spiritual children. A spiritual adult is a spiritual parent that knows and intentionally provides for the needs of spiritual children so that they themselves can grow into spiritual parents. And that's exactly what spiritual parenting or spiritual leadership is all about. God bless.